change has some levels to it. You know, transformation has some levels to it. And too many times, too many times I see people thinking this direction. They think it's either on or it's off. And I don't know where we get that training from. Light switches. <laughs> and when, the, when they came out with dimmer switches, it was like, yes! Ah, oh, that's the concept we need is a dimmer switch. We got to just know that the dimmer switch is what we need to install inside of us so that it's not such a on or off experience, you know, in being a mentor, being successful, that it really has levels to it. And I'll tell you, as a mentor, you will see this, that people literally are blind to the dimmer switch levels. They really see it that on and off is that close to each other. Oh, I'm successful. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I just had one thing go wrong today, so everything's bad. You know, this right here, it could be, it could be good, and it could be bad. And you know someone. It's probably you. You know someone who does this. It's good until one thing goes wrong, and then everything's bad. It's like this drastic, completely fall apart experience. But this whole on and off experience here has been something for me to pay attention to in my personal life. Because if I can begin to manage this and have more of some levels, then I can teach other people how to do it too. I think it's an ungrateful heart and an ungrateful mind who goes from on to off. I think there's a lack of gratitude that happens there. Because you can have so much going so well on your life, but if you go from good to bad within one move, I think there's a lack of evidence of how great your life really is. And so, does anybody in the room have a great life? Yeah! That's great to hear. If something goes wrong, how far does your switch go? How far does it go? Starting now, how far does it go? Tell the person next to you, it's just a wee bit. It's just a wee bit. It's just a wee bit. It just drops just a wee bit. Because I can recover from that so fast. Oh, look, this didn't work out. Oh, look, we lost a child. We can recover. We can, find, we can find that child. He's in the store somewhere. We can recover from that. Did that just stir up some controversy in the room? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're in the store, and Kim's shopping, and me and one of my children, it was Cameron, <laughs> and Cameron... Cameron was getting bored and I was getting bored. It's like so many shoes you can look at as a guy, right? Before it's like, we're so done with this. So we're wandering around and we started playing hide and go seek. Hide and go seek turned into hide and no find. And I stood there for a moment looking around this huge department store going, I have no idea where he is. And it's like, it's okay. This does not mean I'm a bad dad. Nope, it's just a temporary loss of a child. That's all it is. <laughs> Because I know this, if I go from a good dad to a bad dad, it triggers different things in my mind that fires off chemicals and causes me to go into a spiral and I lose consciousness and I lose my ability to make choices. And I go into this ah! mode and I can't function. I want to be able to function through moments of like that when I'm losing a child. So then Kim walks up and she goes, where's Cameron? Oh, He's right here. Where? I don't see him. Oh, I meant within the borders of the store. <laughs> and she looks at me and she goes, you mean to tell me you don't know where he is? No. He's from that door to this door. And just as I pointed to the door, the door opened. She goes, was that him leaving? Could be. <laughs> I don't know. And she goes, Kirk, what are you going to do? And I'm like, it's okay. I'm still a good dad. No, you're not. <laughs> and I'm like, don't flip my switch. I'm working my dimmer switch right now. I've only lost a child for a moment. It's only been five minutes. And she goes, well, how far does your dimmer switch go down to being a bad dad? Every, and I said, every 10 minutes, I'll drop one more notch. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. I, and then I started enrolling some of the people that worked in the store going, okay, he's this tall and he's hiding and we're playing hide and go seek and he's winning. <laughs> <laughs> help me. And they're like, okay, let's go find him. So we're all cruising the aisleways and we can't find that little tyke anywhere. And he just found a super good hiding spot. 
So then I dove into my hunting and fishing skills. <laughs> I got up on a clothes rack, and I, it was now that was my tree stand. So now I'm up on this tree stand looking around for the teeniest, tiniest movement anywhere. And I'm looking, and about six, seven aisles over, I see these pair of pants wiggle. And I just yell to the whole department store, he's in the corner! Go, go, go! So <laughs> they surround him, and he's just in there clinging to a pole going, you're not my father. <laughs> well, your dad told me to come find you. My dad told me never to go with strangers. No, it's okay, it's okay. And so we go over there, and he, we, he was found. So look, I only went to there, and I was back to being a good dad. It wasn't a kaboom. A kaboom. Kabooms make kabooms. Kaboom moves cause boosh. These are sound effects, but you know what I'm talking about. And I, if we could, if we could get inside your head and remove the on-off switch and install the dimmer switch, your life would be so much easier in the fact you don't have kabooms happening. You know, I know some people, they walk into their kids' rooms and there's a pair of socks or one sock laying on the floor. And it goes from a good to a kaboom to like, this room is a disaster. And it's like, it's a sock. <laughs> How many times have I told you? It's like, it can be picked up. Are you tapping her knee over there? Like there's a conversation going on. My peripheral body language reading skills are honing in over here on a relationship experience. <laughs> but the kaboom. Or you're sitting down to dinner. Oh, sorry, it's a personal story. Sitting down, I'm sitting down to dinner, and I taste the food, and I go, huh? And then she sits back, I do it. I'm like, what? I'm such a bad mom, and I'm such a bad wife. I'm like, honey, pass the salt. It's just salt. You guys, you know your kabooms. You know where you take one thing, and it goes huge drastic. <laughs> 